What's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2005 Saturn View. Up front is a 2.2 liter inline four and down below is a five speed manual transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this View because it is manual it's a Saturn, which is no longer a company. And so it's always fun to review Saturns here on the channel, let alone a manual one. So let's get into the view. But if you would like to submit your own vehicle, you can head on over to my website, zachpradle.com slash submit. It's a quick and easy submission form. It takes under a minute to fill out and I come out to you and you would get a video of your car, just like the one you're watching now of this view. <laughs> as I struggle to get it into gear. But let's get back to that 2.2 liter under the hood. It's an Ecotec engine and makes about 143 horsepower. This engine was shared in like the Cobalt, the Cavalier, a lot of GM products of this era had this engine. And so it burns oil, it burns a lot of oil, but for an engine, they weren't that bad. They weren't unreliable. They just consumed a lot of oil and they needed a little bit of love and attention, but that's okay. Like I said, Compared to it is a five speed manual transmission, and it surprisingly is absolute garbage. This is one of the worst manual transmissions I have ever piloted here on the Shooting Cars YouTube channel. I need brass knuckles to get this thing into gear. It is so hesitant. It does not want to be shifted. Now, this car does have 96,000 miles on it. Maybe something happened along the way that made it this way, but the long and short of it is that it's terrible. And even two, 300,000 mile Hondas that are manual retain their good shifter feel when the bushings start to go. Whatever it is, whatever the case, this is a terrible manual transmission and I thought I was gonna have fun and I am most certainly not having fun. Last but not least, the Saturn View base is front wheel drive. However, you could find all wheel drive versions and you could find these with CVTs. Early Saturn Views that were automatic came with CVTs, meaning continuously variable transmissions. However, GM had to send out an apology letter essentially because those transmissions were so terrible that then they walked it back and later switched to a four speed auto. Kind of weird. How's it feel to drive the Saturn View? It drives like a modern SUV. You sit up higher, visibility is good. Ride quality, not great. However, it does feel zippy and fun because of that manual transmission. But like I said, actually shifting gears requires a five paragraph essay just to get in and out of the gate. Let's go, baby. Rev hang is insane. Oh my goodness, grape juice. God, it's like punching your best friend when you try to get into gear, good Lord. Well, that's about the way, let's talk about the interior and I wanna get something very clear right away. This vehicle is being sent to auction, which is probably going to be sent to the crusher. So this interior is not clean. It's not well kept. And I know that because this is probably one of the last times this car will get driven. But in front of me, I have four gauges. Off to left is my fuel. In the center is my speedometer and tachometer. And off to the right is my temperature. On the steering wheel, on the left and right, we have cruise control options. It's a very typical Saturn steering wheel, which is kind of interesting to see. These sort of low slung grips I saw in the Saturn Ion is now here in the view. Off to the left, we have a climate control vent. That's it button wise, but then I do have this aftermarket button which is in fact the horn. So I guess the horn broke at some point along the way. And so a previous owner decided to fix it by just wiring up their own button. On the door, we just have the latch get in and out and power locks. And moving into the center, we have two climate vents, our gauge dimmer switch, a little view badge, the standard Saturn radio. Very cool for me to be seeing a Saturn labeled product this day and age. Very, very cool. A little cubby below that, heating and air conditioning options extremely simple here temperature off to the left fan speed in the center where to send it off to the right and then we get a 12 volt outlet off to the right our mirror adjustments to the left and our window switches surrounding the shifter so this was built off the global theta platform so maybe that's why the lock and unlock power windows are all found down here in the center then we do have cup holders so we will do a big friggin bottle 
processed. And actually, it passes. I was not expecting this out of the Saturn view, but it does in fact pass. whoop de freaking view. <laughs> Then I get a opening center console that has like a spring-loaded lid. Very, very strange. And then the seats. The seats are cloth. They are nothing special at all. However, what was removed just before this video was filmed was aftermarket heated seats. Very strange. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2005 Saturn View manual. Uh, really just the base model. Uh, there's no trim level on this one. Uh, and honestly, the back seat space is wonderful. I was not expecting that. This is my driving position. Knees not hitting the seat in front of me. Head not hitting the ceiling, even with my goofy sunglasses on. GM in this era wasn't good at a lot of things. They did a lot of things really, really poorly. But one thing that they nailed in the mid 2000s was rear seat room. Even the Pontiac G6, even the Cobalt, even really the Cavalier had decent back space for what these cars were. And so that carries on here. I don't get a center console because fuck me, I guess. I get a 12 volt outlet and I do get two cup holders, which also pass the big freaking bottle test. Look at that. Let's hop into the very back. We have a really special little thing back there and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, around the back of the Saturn view. I love the fact that you do get a little Saturn badge right here, but we can pull this up. And we get this little storage container. So this is super cool because it helps separate the back space here. If you have, you know, your oil for your 2.2 liter, cause it's gonna need it. You could set that all back here and it separates it. Not everything's gonna be hitting each other, but pull that in. It's hard to do one handed, but that folds flat. And then look, you have a regular trunk. That is a really, really cool feature you pull this up. Let me see if I can fix that. Ha ha ha. Think smarter, not harder. All right, so you wanna store some crap in your Saturn view? Pull it up like this, pull this out. These clip in here, like so. There we go. Oh, you don't want that anymore? Dang it. Nice. That's probably way too loud. Anyway, second row seats do fold down as well. Very nice to see that. Some hooks, some... Oh, there's your jack in there. But yeah, cool stuff. Now we gotta talk about the looks. And I've always loved the look of the Saturn view because they're so weird and you don't see them anymore. I love the look just because of that. I think they are kind of boxy and weird and I don't love them overall, but honestly, it's just cool to be looking at one. I mean, when was the last time you saw a Saturn view, let alone a manual stick shift one? I know it's redundant to say that, but still very cool. I don't know. I, I, I love seeing them just because you don't see them all that much. However, with all of this being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving a manual transmission Saturn view from 2005. Well, I have to say that this is probably one of the worst driving experiences I've uh, quite ever had here on the channel. It's very cool, you know, a manual Saturn view, like I've been saying with the exterior and pretty much this whole friggin' video. It's different. You don't see this much, and that's very, very cool to me. However, everything in here is very cheap plastic. There's so many rattles, beeps, and squeaks. It's not a nice place to be. Now, Saturns weren't ever luxury cars. They were actually quite the opposite. Their purpose was to be economical. The cargo container in the trunk is very, very cool as well, but it just sucks to drive. I'm sorry, I wanted to like this. I wanted to love it and say, oh, this is one of those unknown gems in the car world. Saturn went out of business. And from this standpoint, from where I'm sitting, they kind of deserve to. Now there were a lot of other good Saturn products and I love driving Saturn products. And if you have a Saturn, I want to drive it, but this is just, uh, well, it's not one of the good ones. Although the view itself was one of the best selling Saturns they ever had. I'm sure with the J series from Honda, it must have been much better, but this four cylinder manual configuration, uh, it's just not the way to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This car is really truly something else. Uh, I mean, there's a mysterious screeching. Ugh, even, do you hear that?
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you really liked it, and, uh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a wonderful week. <laughs>